Hello, friends. Welcome back to another edition of Takeaway. We're in the home stretch of our summer of Psalms in week eight, and today we're diving into Psalm 51, the ultimate lament of David uh, as he was confronted by uh, the prophet Nathan uh, in his um, desperate desire of um, demonstrating his deep sin. Uh, and uh, it was an incredible... The whole, the whole psalm itself is an incredible model of confession and repentance and uh, restoration uh, in, in, I think, an example for all of us to follow. Yes, it is. Um, not the sin, but the restoration right. part in, in how you truly confess yeah. and repent. And the illustrative words, I mean, David was truly an amazing writer. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I just love to be a fly on the wall. This will be a question I ask him in eternity is... I mean, he was gifted with many things, yeah. but his ability to write and writing with the incredible 360 of the uh, understanding of his sin, mm -hmm. the sorrow, the repentance, and I can never do this again, the restoration, all that in what, 19, 20 verses. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but powerful and yeah. impactful. As you were preparing for this sermon, how did this, um, how did it impact you when, when you guys were deciding what direction to go with this? Well, David's story is um, very, very powerful, and it is an example, man after God's own heart, mm -hmm. and the duplicitous nature of all of us, the sinner and Satan that's found in all of us, a man after God's own heart, and yet commits, um, commits adultery and has an affair, and really you think his life is kind of, ruined yeah. and it would have been ruined apart from this posture yeah, right. apart from nathan and and con confrontation and and in that moment of being confronted he has when nathan says you're the man yep. he has no i'm not who are you i'm the king and yet he humbles himself and says i am the man and then goes on to write about it and when the song book of the song book of the bible he right. writes a whole song about it you yeah. know and and how that journey from brokenness to to restoration and how his heart that's that's the power of shame i mean yeah. it is a a darkened uh, and just want to cover that heart cover um this is man and woman turned in on themselves right it's a it's a Harkening back to Genesis chapter 3, and yep. we want to run, we want to hide, we yep. want to deny, no, not me, not me. And yet he says, I am the man. So, yeah. yeah, David's story is an example for me. I'd say anybody that has any element of leadership position, if you have any amount of power, whether in your home or in your organization, yep. how do you leverage that power? Is it with pride or is it with humility? Yeah. And David sinner like all of us gives us that example of radical humility even in the midst he could have been crippled by his shame but he gave it to his savior yeah i think you just answered the second question is what did you learn about this what is god telling you through this sermon and i think that's you hit it right on the head and and you know when you say leader we're all a leader in one way oh, shape yeah. or form yeah. and whether it's sure. leader over only ourselves or it's leader over our families or it's leader over hundreds or thousands of people yeah and um the, the ability to, to admit wrong, yeah. admit fault, to see it, to, to, to man up, so to speak, or woman up, to, yeah. to, to really embrace it and see that in such a short psalm, how David compacts that cycle of, of, of restoration, That's right. it, it applies to every single human being right. uh, in, that, in, in any moment, right? right. Um, Let's go into kind of the next one then is, is uh, how can we best adopt this particular psalm to our lives? Well, we've kind of answered a little bit of no, that I mean, too. But. Just that posture of sin is ever before me. Yeah. Daily. I was, David said, I was conceived in sin. There's never been a time that I was free of, of sin yeah. outside of the forgiveness won for me by my Savior. So this, this tension that we live in, and then this all of life is confession. I've been saying this for a while. Yeah. But the more I look at Scripture and the more I look at my own life and the way I work with people and the more I can, the quicker I can get to owning my responsibility, my contribution for whatever the struggle is, yeah. the better it goes. Yeah. But the lie of the enemy says, no, cover it up, live yep. with shame, and move from fear, oh, I'm going to be exposed, all the way over to pride, no, I'm the man. Yeah, the, the quicker we get to say, man, I, have, I own it, 
I'm sorry, we get specific about it. The one thing about David's story is, you know, he had to be confronted by it. That's right. That's the thing about sin. I yep. mean, he was crippled with shame for a while, and Nathan had to come. And so, you know, ideally, people don't have to come. We are able to go to them and say, man, I, I really messed up here. Yeah, that's right. You if know. you look at it from the perspective of Nathan, you know, we each and every one of us may be called upon at be some time to be a Nathan. That's hard, man. Oh, man, Our world hard. is not like that. I mean, that is, in some circles, you may say that is hate speech. That's right. You coming at me, you judging me like that? That's right. No, God's law crushes us, and God's law must be spoken by some of us in various times. Why? So that the new man or woman in Christ may be raised up, and so that we do not live in crippling, crippling shame. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and this, so I think it's a twofold lesson, is learn the, the lesson about how to be a David and learn the lesson about how to be a Nathan. That's right. Um, and and the D Davids are daily. Nathan's maybe not quite so frequently. Right. But I, I'm, I, I look at it, too, at the fact if we translate it into prayer, I'm, I'm, I've, get, I've gotten better at gratitude, yep. you know, when I wake up before I fall asleep. And we'll discuss gratitude in another week. Mm -hmm. um, but let's look at it from this message, the message this week in... in um, in shame. And maybe this is a, a perfect opportunity as you give gratitude before you fall asleep to also repent yeah, and, and confess uh, to him. You, you have a captive audience in, in our Father, right? Yeah. I think a rhythm of prayer, <laughs> gratitude in the morning. Dear Jesus, I'm thankful for being alive. <laughs> and prayer at night. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Uh, there before the grace of God go I. Uh, please forgive me of everything I've thought and said and done that was not according to your will. And then go to peace and sleep soundly, uh, forgiven by Jesus. That's beautiful. And if you want to roll that out as we uh, wrap up here and pick a verse that we can pray over, maybe in just that very way. Yeah, let's pray. This is uh, verse 1, and I'm even going to move into verse 2. It's okay. very, very powerful. So yep. have mercy on me, O God. According to your steadfast love, that's been a theme, God, your steadfast, consistent, persistent love chasing us down. According to your abundant mercy, I don't get what I deserve. Rather, I get grace. You have blotted out all of my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Heavenly Father, we thank and praise you that through the sending of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, uh, you have given us a new washing, a rebirth, a renewal in the waters of baptism. You have given us your Holy Spirit. We are washed. We are clean. We are holy, dearly loved. You have hidden your face from our sin, and it's been nailed to the cross with Jesus. And therefore, our hearts are new. Our souls are new. We have joy in you and shame and fear, anxiety, all the things uh, that hamper us from fearfully and wonderfully, joyfully following you have been taken away as far as the east is from the west. We thank and praise you now that we can rejoice with a new, cleansed, shameless heart. We love you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for loving us infinitely more. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, brother. Amen. We'll see you all again next week as we wrap up this summer sermon series in the Psalms. Have a blessed week in the Lord. See ya. Peace.